Hey there, my name is Barry Rivera. Welcome to the Austin Parks Foundation, a little Hummingbird Society seed ball making activity. I want to thank our partners at Sunday for providing the seeds for this activity. We couldn't do it without them and without these seeds. Wildflower seeds are, you'll probably see them popping up all around Austin this time of year. They're a vital part of our ecosystem, providing um, pollen for our pollinator creatures like birds, bees, and butterflies, which is exactly what this type of seed mix is. Um, there's a, a list on the back of all the different types of flowers in, in just this one little seed packet. It's a big mix. It's uh, very cool to uh, think about doing something this simple and straightforward and the kind of larger impact it can have for the ecosystem of your backyard, our city, and our world. I want to talk about uh, what our ingredients are today. Like I mentioned, we have these packets of the Western Mix Pollinator Seed Blend. There are five of these, each um, 0.2 ounces equaling up to one ounce of seeds, which would uh, cover 100 square feet. You can see there on the back, there's a bug on it too, it's funny. Um, we have potting soil pre-packaged for you, pre-measured, so you don't have to worry about getting the, the measurements right, but there are instructions, of course, here that come along with it. And then clay, which is, um, uh, from a pottery store, but it's it's a seed ball mix and it's specifically for this activity. The reason why we use these ingredients, it emulates kind of what happens naturally in the ground. Here in Austin, we have parts of town that are heavy clay and others that are a bit more uh, soil-like. And so this uh, wrap, protects the seeds, wraps them up in a little little capsule of natural materials. And when you leave them on the ground, the rain falls on them, the sunshine beats on them, and they eventually kind of melt into the ground and uh, have this uh, compost with it to help its its growth. And then over time, you'll see them about this time next year start popping up. Um, you, if you left them, if you didn't put them on the ground and you left them on a shelf or something, you'd even see sprouts starting to come out from the balls themselves. So it's a really straightforward activity and a simple way to cast seeds a little bit more uh, less labor intensive than the traditional way of, of um, spreading and raking them in. You could lay these somewhere and then sprinkle a little bit of mulch or compost on top of it if you prefer, but they just need to be somewhere that's sunny and you're not gonna mow or, or you know step on or mess with in any way. You just need to let them do their thing. Um, also make sure you're throwing them somewhere where you have permission to. Don't throw them in, in a park or somewhere without going through the proper um, channels of approval. So let's start with, I'm gonna keep my instructions right here. Let's start with the five, oh, sorry, excuse me, the um, potting soil here. So we have it measured out with uh, two ounces, five ounces, and then five of these packets, which equals to one ounce. Um, you could do this in different proportions as long as those ratios are the same so that it's one part seeds two parts soil, five parts clay. So you got these sweet bags here. Go ahead and rip that open and uh, don't pollute the wrapper. Let's see. Cool. So we're just gonna add it all in, pre-measured, good to go. So that's a clay. Here's our soil. And this clay is from um, Armadillo Clay in East Austin, local art store. Um, it's actually a seed ball mix, but there are other varieties you can use too in other places to get it, but we like to support the, the local art um, store. So here's our soil. Cool, cool. And then we're going to give it a nice little mix. Make sure these kind of, these lumps, little balls here get broken up. This is a very tactile experience. And so I know some people feel um, more fond of that than others. So if, if you prefer, you know, those blue nitro gloves would be great, but um, I like to get my hands dirty if um, it feels good. And if you're doing it with, with kids, they really like to get their hands dirty, but it's a good, re good reminder to uh, do it outside or lay a tablecloth or something you don't mind getting very filthy. I've, I've made that mistake the hard way before. So definitely do this somewhere that um, they, can, they can make a little bit of a mess. All right. This is probably maybe a, a little more de-lumping here. All right, cool. So we're gonna slowly add some water here. We're wanting it to be 
about Play-Doh thickness. Like I said, you can always add more water. This is the really messy part. I probably should open those seeds before I got my hands dirty. That's it. It's not much water. I think probably the biggest mistake you can make, especially with the limited amount of clay and soil you'll have, is adding too much water. And then, um, you know, you don't have any extra ingredients to add back in. So it'll just become this like real goopy mess. Uh, that was that was probably two ounces of water. So now I'm gonna add in the seeds and we're just gonna mix it all together. See if I can do this one-handed. That's all right, it's a dirty process. And you'll see instructions on the back of the seeds. So this will end up being one ounce of seeds total and that should cover about 100 square feet. Um, it's cool too, it tells you the seed blend. You can see all that on the back. And um, you know, there, you can find a lot of resources online for giving these seeds the best chance of survival, but it's really about right, right, play, right plant, right place. So finding somewhere that's not gonna be disturbed and um, the soil is nice and gets lots of sunlight. Mix them all in. Two more. It's a very beautiful package too. Cool. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix it all together and probably, so it's already getting real sticky and even hard to kind of work with. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. That last ounce here, I might even add some more, let's see. You really just wanna make sure that the seeds are dispersed throughout. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Actually, that's pretty good. Look at that. It's perfect. When you pre-measure, plan ahead, perfect. Cool. So um, they're going to end up being about ping pong to golf ball size balls. That's, that's maybe like golf ball. That's golf ball. They don't have to be perfect by any means. You're just trying to get them so that they just, it sticks together, right? And then when they're dry, you can leave them out in your yard and um, and that rain will hit and slowly they'll kind of become one with the earth. This is a little bit easier route versus um, more traditional ways of seeding, like raking it in, digging. Um, you could add maybe just like a little thin layer of mulch after these have kind of decomposed. But really, honestly, the, the main reason to do this method is that you don't have to do anything. You, you leave them out there and um, and just let nature take over. So here's our first one. We'll make probably only a few here. You, and I guess since we have um, not a ton of materials, maybe you want to do kind of smaller, more, more balls that are slightly smaller probably makes sense kind of to spread them out a little bit. So that one's more ping pong ball. And if you're doing this with kids, it, it really um, doesn't matter how pretty these look. And there's just a lot of learning opportunities here. It's a really fun sensory project and something to get their hands dirty and just makes you think about how things grow, and where things grow. Um, yeah, you could, really, you could really have a lot of fun with this with kids. Last time I did it was with my kids and they had a blast. My son particularly enjoys the throwing part. I, I do too, I guess, if I'm being honest. So cool, ping pong ball. Maybe I might be able to make like two more here. My hands are so dirty, it's good. Cool, cool. All right, I'm really gonna try to get as much up as I can. Try to get as much off my hands as I can. And it's really is that simple. Um, wow, this is, just a perfect amount. So I made two, four, six balls. You could probably make maybe eight or so if you made them slightly smaller, but um, as long as they're kind of, they're spread out, but not too, too spread out. The, the 100 square feet they say on the package is more for traditional planting. So these you probably would want to have in the slightly more condensed um, square, square footage than that, but you could have these spread out, um, you know, a decent amount depending on the size of your yard or, or where you're trying to plant these. Cool, all right. So our next step is just to let these, let these dry and then we'll throw them tomorrow. But uh, since 
We are filming this all right now. I say we, I say we throw one. All right, I'm gonna throw one. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let me get warmed up here. I don't want an injury. Okay, feeling good. I'm gonna throw the big one. All right, ready? I'm gonna throw it real high. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I hope that's where you wanted it. You could probably be a little bit more strategic with their throwing than I just was, but um, just for the video's sake, we have fun throwing. All right, well, I'm gonna go get my hands clean. That's really a, about as, as easy as it gets. Make sure to you know recycle and, and get rid of your, your trash. But hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this activity. Um, thank you again to Sunday. Uh, Little Hummingbird Society is our, our kids programming. So if you wanna find out more information about that, go to austinparks.org slash LHS. It's a great program. You can be involved with volunteer projects, get um, activity sheets sent to you. It's a really great way to uh, engage your kids with nature and our awesome parks here in Austin. Thank you so much.